Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Disease Land. I, I, I don't know if that's what we're calling it, but it's very swampy, and I feel like, you know what I mean? Like with the marsh down below here, I feel like the diseases they're going to get are going to be the main challenge in this game. Maybe. Maybe these robots that keep attacking like in the last episode will also be. But, uh, I mean, that's the whole game. Challenges abound in this game. Before we get started, can I just say something nice? Uh, I hope you're all having a good day. No, <laughs> the, the nice thing, I, I was loading the game and I, and it just reminded me, this is a he Heimamont game. Heim, Heim, Heimamont. And he what, however you say the production company, you know the one I'm talking about. And they've made some great games over the years, but I just like, just kudos to them for this solid game. It's not very buggy. It's it was pretty pretty good to go when it first came out, and now we're playing this new stuff here with Hope, and we're having a good time. Hope, get out of there! Hope, what are you what are you doing in the bushes? Hope, get out of the bushes! Observing giant grass. Yeah, we do need to find hay. Another thing. Okay, here's the challenges coming up right now. First, first things first. I want to thank the uh, members, the, the 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 people watching, the the commenters. For telling me that we need, where is it, where is it, air vent, did we research that recently, I guess, furniture, where is it? <sighs> that we need, da, 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 production, light and heat, maybe, no, electricity, basically. We need an, a, a lightning, a lightning pole, a, a whatever you call them, lightning rod, because uh, this was warned to me early, so it's like, okay, this is obviously something that people have had an issue with in the past. Why can't I find it? What am I doing wrong here? What's wrong with my brain? Science? No. Defense? Tower? Fortification? No. Ooh. Anyway, uh, I, I, I didn't know, but I think that might be a big thing in this game. In this particular map that I'm on. We might be dealing with a lot of, oops, uh, lightning issues. So, ah, uh, okay. So we need to research lightning rods. That's challenge number one. So we're going to get that researched and built. Very simple challenge, to be honest. Not that big of a deal. I think the second big challenge is... Actually, we don't need these anymore, do we? Let's uh, delete these bad boys. What's the delete key again? X. So let's get some more storage under here. Let's go scrap for now. I wish we could move these. I don't know. Maybe we can. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to build some storage. Scrap storage under here. I don't know what this area is going to become eventually, but we'll store a lot of stuff under here. This could be where we make concrete. Or do we want to make it over here? Actually, there's like a lot of stone over here. We should set up concrete facility here because then the concrete will get shipped, you know, and used right here where we intend to do some building. I'll show you my plans in a second. Then, uh, this area can store, I don't know, something else. But basically storage. Right now we've got stuff underneath this, uh, underneath the roof. So right now it is... Outside slash under roof, so we probably got 36 days uh, for this stuff. Meals, however, I'm pretty sure, like, you're done. Under roof, four days. Refrigerated, two, uh, for eight days. Frozen indefinite. So we kind of want to get to that pretty soon, but for now we just need to manage it where we just don't make that many meals. Now, that being said, I'd love to start moving this stuff inside, uh, but the, the, the shelter we built... I would argue, I would say is like pretty much maximum rudimentary. What are these dandelion spores under roof? Two years. Good for them. Good for them. Let's get some rules on this thing. Cooked meals. Okay, yeah, that's what we have for the rules. So let's actually go and say we don't want to store meals out here anymore. We don't want uh, cooked meals in there. Unfinished food, maybe. Because, you know, the, 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 the cook stove is still here. So what we want to do is pretty much, like, as soon as possible is build another extension. Probably another room even right here, which we could do. But let's get some things sorted out first. All right, let's get some things straight first. What I want to do with this is I believe the maximum is three floors. Oh, what, what, what does that do again? Oh, I think... This is the one, this is the version we like. Okay, the maximum is three floors. So how do we make that look good? I'd love like a six floor story, or like a six story floor thing here. Uh, but you know, that's that's all they're letting us have. Maybe, we'll find out, but I'm pretty sure the, it's gonna max at three. So the third is our top terrace. So what I wanna do there is have a roof on top to give it an extra sense of height. On the second floor, I'll have these guys sticking out 
uh, with roofs on top of them. So it's going to just look really quite nice. And then out here is a second floor terrace where I want people to be able to walk out. And this, I think, will be nice and big and where we can start doing things like... Um, uh, solar panels, etc. Stuff like that, like managed up here. I think that'll keep stuff off the ground, which I think is going to just feel really good, too. Then we can think about a different entrance here and turn this into an out, outhouse, out room or whatever. So I think off to the side here, more storage. Back here, maybe a fridge or something. I don't know, the kitchen or something like that. So basically this, I want to turn this whole thing into a giant concrete paddock and then build up from there. So once we have this paddock built, it's concrete. So that's that's the next you know sort of challenge that I want to move to is rushing concrete. This could be a bad idea though because this is what I always do in this game. That being said, I always make it to the end. So what's up? Obviously, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but if we rush concrete, you know we're not building our defenses. We're focusing on concrete. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so it could be a challenge. It could end up giving us like you know we're spending all our resources and time building this thing so i think what i need to do is like build it out a little bit at a time maybe add a room here and there when we need storage or other production facilities but then build it out a little bit and then spend some on defense build it out a little bit more spend some on defense as long as i keep balancing my defense construction uh with the with the with the my building dreams i think we'll have a better time uh of life furthermore to this point maybe we should move these Oh, I thought for a second you could move them. Wait, reconstruct. Task survivors to reconstruct the structure with other... Oh, no, no, that's different. Deconstruct gets me 15 back. That's useless, I think, because they're like 200. Or something, aren't they? Camp. Shelter. Scrap metal. 30! So you get 50% refund. Is not terrible. So we could build a smaller one of these. I kind of just like... Maybe I'm wrong about this storage here. Basically, this is what I'm thinking. X. X, X all this, please. Thank you. Maybe we don't store stuff here for now. Let's just, let's let's take a step back. We should start pulling things further into our base, and probably put some storage, outdoor storage, like here. Do we like purple leaf? Kind of like purple leaf, to be honest. We can put it like right here and get some storage right there. Now, how do we make purple leaf fabric? Probably over here. Uh, craft spare parts. Oh boy. Metal alloys and silicon. Oh, man. Keeping her alive is going to be so expensive. How many spare parts do we have? What happens if... Okay, we got four spare parts left. If she has an issue... Do you know what I mean? Like, if so, if, if she gets injured again, we're on a... We're, we're wrecked. We're screwed. We're done for. <laughs> okay, I need to move all... You know what? It's true. I need to move all this. I need to scrap this. If I scrap two of these, I can build two more. But to be honest, I kind of like the purple leaf. How, how hard is that going to be to get a purple leaf thing going? Purple leaf right here. Output when cut. Oh, you just get it right away. We should start growing some purple leaf. It's quite nice. Okay, cut some of this purple leaf. Get me like 30, maybe let's go 40 um, purpled leaves. Again, I don't know if they grow back. This is always the, the contentious situation. We've talked about this in the past. And I some of you agreed with me, actually, that selective cutting is the way to go. So I quite appreciate you for that. I'm thinking we keep these here. I don't want to see the roofs on things. Yeah, that's fun. Let's do that for now. It just looks better. It's more interesting. Although it makes it hard to look into the building, doesn't it? Ugh. But I want to see the roof over here. <laughs> What's the, why is my life so hard? Anyway, I, I, I think... I think we keep this outbuilding here just because we've built it now. We might as well just keep it out there, and it, it looks good. We could have, I don't know, something under there for safety. Uh, but we're going to build a new one there ASAP. In fact, I'm going to get it built right now. Orders. Camp. Shelter. It's pretty easy to build, too. Sticks and purple leaf. And it's gonna. it looks kind of apropos of, the, of nature, right? Let's go here. I'm not going to put it nestled. It's going to be just, just nestled, bud. Order. Camp, sorry. Shelter. Alright, now I haven't even got to the next and, and bigger challenge of the game, by the way. Uh, oops. Ah. Oh. Okay, what game is that where right-click is placed multiple? Pal World. Shift-click. There we go. So, can we get another one of these buildings in, in, in a way that, like, nestles nicely? Like, if I did one here... 
Shift click. Ah, that's going to cut a bunch of this down. I don't want to do that, actually. I'm hitting X. Why is X not... There we go. X. But, okay. Uh, cancel is C, but... Okay, uh, I've already messed up the... Ah, uh, crap. I've already messed up the dirt. <laughs> cancel orders. Where's... Can cancel orders. There we go. Thank you. There we go. C and X. X is deconstruct, so I could hold, but but C is... Okay, all right. I'm learning how to use it. All right. So now I kind of still need a shelter in here because of the dirt. I wrecked the dirt. Ah, solid. You wrecked the dirt. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm envisioning my people saying when they're watching this. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have like two outrigging buildings. I don't know. That'll, that'll, that'll look, it looks cool. It looks campy. And then maybe we could put a chopping block right there. Uh, we moved the chopping block. Didn't I have a chopping block over here? We'll put the chopping block there, which still gets damaged by the elements, which is kind of annoying. There it is. Let's move you. Move you to the base. I think this is going to look good. I think this is... Yeah, this is going to look... This is starting to look a little more camp-like. We'll get a little smaller building out here. Maybe we inset it so it's off this space here and comes back there. And then we're going to build into this area. That's kind of just going to be our main building. We might do more buildings. And I'm curious what you guys think if you're like, I want to do more buildings, more, uh, uh, you know, outbuildings rather than one big complex. But I think right now we're going to go concrete complex. I think it's going to look cool. And then wood on the bottom, of course, for aesthetics. I think it's like this area here is wood and then the rest is a big concrete bunker. All right, we need 60 of the purple leaf for this. Now, okay, now we got to talk about the problems. The other, the big challenge right now that we're kind of not even paying attention to, so we really need to get paying attention to it at this point. I think this is more than 60 at this point, so we're good there. The other big challenge right now is Hope herself. We're feeding everybody else, but we are not feeding her. I need fuel. Oh, three of these things just rotted away. Where are they? Where were they stored? I think they were stored out here. Oh, that's brutal. We just... Okay. I almost want to save scum and move those. Hang on. Let's... We got to take a look at this. This is bad. This is bad news bears. Outside at one year. All this stuff is only... Is not going to last very long. So we need... Ah, crap. Okay. We need to get storage under here. New plan. We're putting storage. No, no, no. We can do this. We can do this. We can get storage... <laughs> just going back on what I said. Do we want... I think we can get way more storage by going side to side. So we're going to go here. And we're going to do another round of scrap storage right here. Then, in here, maybe we do ground storage. Stockpile. Like so. And we'll leave the other one empty just in case uh, we need it. Okay. All right, let's pause for a second. Hope needs to eat. Now, there's a couple issues. Issue number one, we got no more even crystals. Zero of ten. We, have, we are growing some. And that's going to give us uh, 100. But, like, when? Average growth, 27%. We're not going to see that for a while. Hope is basically has no food currently. So we can start scavenging, I think, is one option. But that's a it's a roll. It's a, it's a roll of the dice. I also went looking for a bit, so I saved you the time watching me do this. And there's some crystals up here. Uh, we're getting 10. Yeah, there's a decent amount of crystals up here. So worst case scenario, if it starts to get really bad, we're just going to send her on a walkabout immediately. But I think the best thing we can do for now is race, rush our tech to fuel production. So what that means is, what do we need here? Let's take a look at research. Uh, concrete rooms are going to wait for a second. We actually need this oil compressor. Palm fruits are rich in fats. Extraction to help with the cold press. We're going to research this next. So this is almost done. We're going to research palm oil next. Purple leaf cloth could be good two days max. We don't have time to research that. Electricity we should research. Long distance travel we're going to need soon. Bench press. I'd love to have a gym inside, though. That would be sick. Can't wait to get them inside, honestly. Flat cannons. Yeah, we're going to have flat cannons up on the top of this balcony thing, too. I think maybe, yeah, we need a second floor that's bigger than this so we can have flat cannons and solar panels and stuff. I think it's going to look sweet. Again, this what this thing is missing is... um railings. We just need railings. But we could do a fence, I guess. It just takes up a lot of room. Uh, like a stone fence. Yeah, see what I mean? Eh, it's not terrible. That's not bad. But it eats up that whole square. So we could think about making a bigger second floor here and then a third floor just being 
um, you know, a pat, you know, a back little tower, an observation tower or something right there. That'd be cool. Maybe put a stairs up to the top of the third floor too. <laughs> anyway, we need to rush fuel. I got distracted. Can you tell that I'm ADD? <laughs> Are there is there medicine I should be taking for that? Fuel. So we're going to research that next. Then oil extraction. We could do oil extraction. We need to find and produce grain. I don't think we care about that though because we can make a vegetable oil out of palm meat. So where's the thing that makes fuel fuel mixing? Liquid fuel. Find and produce oil and fats. So we need to get to fuel mixing pretty much right away and then Energel is going to be fuel plus those energy things, and I think that's more efficient, but I'm pretty sure she can eat fuel. Let's check here. What can you eat? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. We have our orders, we know what we're doing. Why can't I remember? I don't know why. You can watch this. I just never have been able to, yeah, liquid fuel, there we go. I have never been able to get on top of uh, legit, like understanding the, the, the sub menus in here. I always just have to leaf through it entirely and remember. Okay, repair tools, spare parts. We kind of need to keep her away from combat, I think. We can't afford to have her damaged. Constructing shelter. Already! She's constructing the shelter. Research lightning rods. Okay, let's get a lightning rod built, and then we need to get some sticks as well. Let's build a lightning rod. Um, let's build the lightning rod knee <laughs> here. Ten scrap metal. Let's make this... The priority, perhaps. Ember, what are you up to? Constructing a shelf. Constructing the lightning rod. She's like, I just gotta go get some scrap metal for the lightning rod. That's fine. We'll go, she'll circle back. Hope is transporting some fabric all the way over there to make this new storage. Again, this is stuff that looks like we're wasting our time, and in some ways we are. <laughs> but just moving everything and consolidating things once you develop your plan is just something that has to happen. In the meantime, let's talk about defense. The last time we were attacked, they came around to this, which will eventually be our kill floor. They still came up through here. There's still a path. So I think we are... Are we done researching this or what? Obviously not, but it's like 85%. Okay. So I think what we need here is a little fence here for now. Again, this is all stuff we have to upgrade later. But for right now, we're looking to make it through to the next morning. So let's do that. We have apparently enough wood for it. Let's go ahead, though, and put a fence door in here. There we are. So that's going to lock that section off. I think we're safe there. We're not safe here. So let's fence this off. Put a little fence door here. Shift click. It's going to be a long one. So maybe there. Click. Defense. We better put defense in. <laughs> you know what I mean, everybody? Oh, yeah. The dad jokes are, are coming along really well, I would say. My final form. I'm evolving to my final form. Ultra dad. That's a video game I would make slash want to see. Sort of ultra dad thing. Okay, fence. You know, what we're going to do is just to make this something we can... Oh, Laura, please. Laura, don't melt down. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the, we're gonna bring the fence forward. Uh, all right, uh, and then so we can continue building stronger wall behind it. And we're gonna reconstruct. Uh, oh, you don't. Oh, okay, there's, there's not, reconstruct for some reason. But I wonder if yeah, once we get more options, maybe the reconstruct option will open up and we can upgrade all these walls as we get our defenses in. We are short of. Excellent work. Palm oil. We are short uh, 110 wood. I've seen worse. Uh, oh, yeah. i got to turn this off so I can see inside. I'm an idiot. Okay, here we go. Oil press. Excuse me. Thank you. Oil press. Oh. And then we're going to go... Here we go. Yeah, okay. Can I select single ones at a time? So what I want to do is make this uh, deselect all, and I want to have 
I want to really, I want to micro this a little bit. Raw food, cooked meal. Okay, where is it? It's going to be crafting materials. That's where it is. Liquid fuel on this column here. And then we can also have, uh, what is it that I want? Palm meat. And I'm going to copy that restriction. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to paste that restriction. And then I'm going to check over here. Yeah, these guys are good. So, actually, what we should do here is think about what we want stored on here. We don't want cooked meals. Everything else for now is fine. So I'm going to copy restrictions. I'm going to be careful here. Paste. Double-click. Paste. I could just go through and click off cooked meals, but... Okay, that'll be good for now. So we've got kind of a setup going on there. So we kind of, kind of come over here and we go... I think we'll turn all this off eventually anyway. Can we move these? No, you can just empty and deconstruct. No queued research. All right, well, we can research anything right now. Mer uh, pickling maybe is a good idea. It's, what is it going to unlock? I think we use... Oh, the fermentation barrel. Okay. Oil extraction... We're not worried about. We need to get to fuel mixing. We just need to produce oil. So we just need to squish down some of this meat. Which means we probably need to harvest some of it. Harvest. Harvest it. It grows pretty fast. That should be our main... You know what I mean? That should be the... Okay, we're, we're already growing two sausage palm trees, which is sort of a waste. But we'll just, we got to keep these wild ones up and running. Because that's kind of just natural food. Natural growth and sun cover. It's all good. Alright, we've got the lightning thing up. So, like, you think about it, right? Challenge number one, complete. Challenge number two, getting this going here. Let's hope print transporting. Okay, she's getting ready to build some more of this. Looks like we've got one up already, so, like, already life is getting a little better for ourselves here in camp. Swamp disease. <laughs> That's the name of the camp. I don't know that uh, we've never really named any of the camps in this game. Um, uh, okay, the next thing we want to think about is these furnaces. I believe that's where we make concrete. Didn't I get one? Yeah. Kind of move this. I'm going to move production of concrete over to here, like I said. So where should we put that? That's the real question. This looks great. Furnaces here, maybe, or furnaces along here? What'll happen if I move this? Yeah, I have to cut all these down. I could do three right there, though, and not have to cut stuff down. So that's going to be where our furnaces are. Let's get another furnace built. Then our storage of concrete and stone. Could We could just put storage of concrete and stone in here with another st stockpile. So let's get an actual stockpile right here. And make that all concrete and stone. Then we are going to continue chop. We're, we're not even going to start chopping this stone yet. Because we have these big bad boys to mine, too. That's 40 stone a time. Hope can bring that stone over to storage we can start baking it a concrete and baby you got a now you got a stew cooking or whatever the expression uh let's uh let's let's plant this purple leaf because we're getting sticks and leaf out of it that could be our we don't even need cotton actually to be honest cotton blossom let's remove it i'm removing it i'm replacing it with the much more wait hang on c c what did we what do we get we get 10 out of cloth we get 10 of that now, that is easier to use, though, I think. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe we should keep it. <laughs> I don't know. Cloth Blossom, I guess we should keep it. Now, the reason why is because we just get raw cloth out of it. But I really like getting a lot of sticks, and then you also get purple leaf cloth. I don't know, guys. I don't, ooh, it's big, too. Where to put the farms? You know, you don't want the farms too far, but you don't want them kind of messing up your your vision for the niceness of the the land. Like I said, I wish there was a way to just make uh uh grass bushes. Uh, I, I wish there was a way to make a more natural looking field. Is, is I guess what I'm getting at. So that's only two of them about to rot away. Another five meals about to rot away. Real bummer. Talas. Okay, the Risk of melting down is mostly gone, but this dude is upset. Why? 
Uh, a few fun things to do. Sleep, Paris. I told you there was diseases going around. Ate raw food, and it's dark and tired. Okay, well, those are going to go away. We got darts, so that's helping. Talos, go to bed, dude. What's your, like, what's your schedule? I haven't even done any scheduling. Oh, it's because it's anything. So we should probably create a schedule at some point, but I'm going to worry about that in a bit. They're taking care of themselves. What do we have here? Lara, we, we need to get you guys rooms immediately because we're getting disturbed sleep minus three. Drowsy cave dweller. Oh, yeah, cave dweller, right. Yeah, we need to find a lot of wood here in the next morning. For, okay, cave dweller bo <laughs> bothers me because it's like, you look at this and you're like, this wood looks better than the flooring on in my house. And it looks even more level than the floors in my house. I have got some islands and some culverts and some dips in the floor in our house. It's very annoying. All I'm saying is, why are we, why are they complaining about this? Also, what the heck? What is this? No! What is this? I've not seen this before. No! Search party landed. But it's uh, it's four hours. Five hours. Okay, so, oh, it's coming up on the daytime. This is good. We can hunt during the day. I think we don't have defenses. So I think we have to go out and get them. But, like, what the heck, you guys? Oh, okay, we gotta deal with that. First of all, though, parquet flooring. I have nothing else for them. So it's gonna be parquet flooring. And this will get rid of that minus five debuff, which is... Okay, no, one second. Uh, which is so annoying. It's just like, it, it, come on. Just be happy you have a bed that's not... You were sleeping in a makeshift storage like not too long ago. I do think one of the cheap things you can do though is you can technically just put the parquet under their beds. But anyway, we're gonna do the whole thing. So now we need almost 200 woods, woods sorted out. All right, Hope 9000 cannot hunt, uh, combat. We've got, we have another crossbow and we have a spear. I'm gonna get you to get a crossbow. And I'm gonna get you guys to wake up soon, I think. Uh, rest is actually not doing well. Ooh, Talus, I, oh, I shouldn't have woken Talus up. All right, R, come on. Let's just do it. You guys can sleep later, I guess. We already woke Talos up, so we might as well get to work. Oh, he's not stoked with me. He's very upset. Well, we gotta deal with this search party. They landed right here. As far as search parties are concerned, like, they're gonna find us. They're also equipped with crossbows, which is... Gr like, I like that they did that, but it is hilarious that they're using crossbows because they're, you know, robots. But anyway. All right. Let's move out. Lara, Talos... And Ember bringing up the rear with her laser pistol. Uh, which has, like, actually a pretty good range. So I'm going to set up Lara and Talus here. Ember is going to move forward and start picking them off. We move into position and begin our strike. Move a little closer. See if you can just, like, boink this one. Okay. It, it aggroed all three of them. So it, there we are. Might as well take one of them out right away. Miss. They actually have better range than we do. So I don't appreciate that. I only get all of all of us focused on one. There we are. That's how you you gotta focus fire, okay? It's like StarCraft here. And we still ended up taking a little bit of damage that is gonna require some treatment. Bleeding out. She's slowly bleeding out. Also sleep paralysis. What do we need for that? Increase the need for sleep. Rest from full sleeping cycle is minus 10. Uh, if I uh, if I wish I, if I right-clicked, I would get some more context. I think Ember's going to be okay. She's seeking treatment. Our doctor is Ember. Crap. Okay, Talus. I'm going to put you down to a 1. I'm going to put you all at a 1. Or no, wait, because heal is different. I'm going to put you all at a 1. It'll just, it is whoever it is, and I hope, hopefully it's Ember, basically. Uh, hope, I'm gonna actually bring you over here, because as soon as Ember lies down, there's gonna be a treatment task that pops up. I assume you actually have terrible... Ugh, crap, never mind. 
Uh, so it's probably going to be Talas here. Talas. Draft, undraft. And... No, let's just get you uh, doing this, please. Heal Umber Griffin. There we are. Alright, Talos is going to go do that. Um, how are we doing with the food situation? Crap, we currently have no meals for the other people, too. If I hope I feel like this is the most important thing. What are you currently constructing? Constructing what? I want you to do that. Okay, we got low food we need to cook, and I think Ember's our cook. Ember... Cooking. Nope. Lara's our cook. Okay, so where's Lara doing building? Removing a furnace. Okay, I mean, fine, but still. Not necessary. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Illness now has an... Oh, I should have looked at that. What's her illness? Infection. Oh, no! Okay, we got to rush... Hills as well, don't we? Oh boy. Antibiotics production, 12 hours, not bad. Find and produce grain. And we need grain. We need grain production going now. I think I saw some grain back near the thing. Okay, Lara's gonna make food. Ember's gonna get some treatment. Back near here, there was some grain, I thought. Where's my ship? Where's my drop ship? There. All right, everybody look and leave a comment below if you can see the grain. And then what I'll do is I'll post this video. I'll check for comments. Like, I'll, I'll stop playing right now, I'll check for comments, and then I'll come back and I'll finish the video. I'll take the video down, then I'll finish it, upload it in its finished state. <laughs> no, wait, never mind, I see some. That sticks, so I'm an idiot. Oh, wait, wait, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, right there. All right, now, is there any we can harvest? No. Oh, we have to observe it still? Oh, boy. This is bad news, bears. And what are you doing? Transporting sticks. Look at that walk that she's on. Remember, we're still trying to feed you at some point. Like, we're still trying to get... Oh, boy. Okay, Talas, you're researching, which is nice of you. Okay, we're missing resources. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes, we still do need you to do that, so we're still going to have you transport. Lara is bringing... Cooked meals over here, which, why? Okay, wait, 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 Lara. Actually, no, Hope. I want you to haul that veggie soup inside where it belongs. Thank you, Hope. Where is she going to take it? There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Sometimes that takes a while. Talos is tired, so he's going to go to sleep. That's fair. The sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis, sleep demons, whatever you want to call them, are, are, Definitely something. Ember's going to melt down, so we're going to try to leave Ember alone for a bit. Do some more selective logging over here. Let's cut this bad boy. I need to cut, like, 15 of these trees. One out here already. Selected. 25. We can do better. There's a 30. Let's go in here and grab ourselves a 20 right on the edge. Let's go in here and grab this one. That's the one I want. 19. Good. 29. Good. Selective cutting, baby. It's really a waste of time. Maybe I'll do... Yeah, you know, What I should do is the, the next playthrough of Stranded Alien Dawn, we can do one that's like a... Uh, what do you call it? It's just full-on... Um, like a trade consortium. And then they show up and all they do is just... Uh, do, like, just flatten everything. Just cut everything out. Okay, Hope is transporting some more sticks. No. Hope, I want you... Can't you observe? Hope can observe, I think. Oh, no, I lost it again. There it is. Hope you need to observe this. This is a bad situation. Absor observe tall leafy plant. Go. I know that's a quite a walk, but unless there's clo- Oh, I have some right here! Never mind. No, wait. Don't cut. Come and observe. Because we need antibiotics and we need fuel, so the grain will help us with both, but primarily it's the antibiotics I'm worried about. Am I going to lose Ember? Oh, wait. It's not like RimWorld. I forgot. Sometimes they just get over it. But you, the thing is, you gotta be careful, because they don't always get over it. Oh, good lord. This has been just a very tough day, to be honest with you. I want to move all this stuff, but I'm not even to move stuff, because we're currently just massively out of, uh, like, over overworked, basically. We're not getting anything done right now. Is there no wood whatsoever? 
fuel is going to be such a problem. Here it is, the warning, energy depletion, hope. Androids need to consume electricity. So she is uh, going to start. Oh, she's starving. Okay. I, I don't, th honestly, I don't, we're, cl we're close, but we still need to do, we still need to build that thing. Then we still need to squish down some meat beans or whatever those things are called, sausage meats, into oil, then produce the oil into fuel at a workbench. Basically, Ember is going to die. So, I don't think Ember can die, and just in terms of, like, losing the game. But also, Ember can't sleep. Uh, I keep saying Ember. I meant Hope. This whole time I've been talking, I meant to say Hope. So, Hope, you got some work to do. Let's find a tenor. Harvest it. Hope 9000. Oh my goodness. Is leaving the colony. Hope is 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 off to go uh, walk around or something. Can I get a good... For the thumbnail, you know what I mean? No, not really. Hope leaves the colony. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Where is that? Okay, can somebody tell me where is the thumbnail button? There we go. I think there's a button that, like, just take, turns off the UI. Hope leaves the colony. After walking all night, Hope finally comes into contact at 7 in the morning with the Crystal Fields. Her chance for staying alive. Her energy is at zero. She's into in heavy starvation. Minus 27. I mean, that's not the worst. But I assume at some point, something's going to happen. Consciousness is 95, so I think that keeps going low, and then eventually she dies. And I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like she's not supposed to in terms of, like, passing, like, failing the game. I think she's the only thing we need to keep alive. Realistically. Realistically. That's how I talk. Could you imagine? Uh, <laughs> that is, actually. Realistically, <laughs> um, we should have brought... A security detail with her, but I don't think we have time for that. So in this, in the, in the, in the rain and the sleet, under the cold, nasty stare of the red moon, Hope gathers uh, some energy crystals by hacking wood chips out of them. I guess there we are. We're gonna draft her, undraft, and then have her consume. There we go. There we go. Phew. That was going to be bad for a second. There we go. Energy going up. She's ravenously hungry. She's only hungry now. We've taken starvation away. Her happiness has gone up. Energy levels are, are, are starting to get up there. So it looks like she eats five every time she gets hungry. So that is quite a lot, though. All right. Hang on. No, no, no. Don't move away for you. Let's go do some more harvesting, if that's going to be the case. Meanwhile, back at base... <laughs> Ember is cutting some wood in the middle of the thunderstorm. I'm sure she's very upset about that. We are trying to build a lot here. We don't need the... We don't need... Hang on. We don't need this parquet down here. Get me down there. Ugh. How do I select the parquet flooring here? All right. Well, that's annoying. But anyway, I guess we're putting parquet flooring outside. Because I cannot... Let me select it and deselect it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. There, that made life a little cheaper. Oh my goodness, as though rewarded for our hard work, hope is improving. Hello, you rescued me from the Manufacturer Consortium, but what now? My sentience patterns will need time to achieve their full potential, but there is capacity to instantiate a new skill. What should it be? Hunting and fighting, construction, cooking, crafting, farming, planting, and taking care of animals, or healing. Ooh, these are all good. These are all actually really good. Healing could be good. Construction of new buildings and devices. I think I want to go construction. Oh, wait, crafting, though. She could just craft 24-7. That one. That one instantly. I knew that was the one we wanted. Why? Because I'm pro of the game. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. oh you really got to watch her. She's a feisty one. Also, you really have to watch the... The speed with which... Okay, there we go. Haul those energy crystals. Thank you. So she can carry 20, which means if I could find the other one... Isn't there... Uh, there we go. Let's go. Let's have her come over here. 
See if she can't do 25. She can haul more than that. That's good. Okay, there we go. See, look. Draft. Undraft. Haul energy crystals. There we are, 25. Okay, so that's the best we can do. We're bringing 25 crystals back, which is going to keep her somewhat fed. Hopefully she can get back to base and nothing befalls her in the middle of the night. Many things stalk. Like this guy. These are the worst. Our first instance of vegetable oil has been created. Now, I believe that unlocks another research thing. And honestly, I still kind of believe, pauses for a second, in the new, you know, my new personal meta, which is don't research too much off the top so that you can focus on getting everybody working hard on stuff that you might need. Oh, kimchi. Like kimchi, for instance. To do that, we need, wow, that is hard. That's expensive. A hundred cloth and a hundred dandelion. It shows what they think of kimchi. <laughs> anyway, point is, fuel mixing. That's what I need to research now. After fuel mixing, we can do antibiotics. What do we need? Find and produce grain. So that's close. That's close. But I might even just start working on concrete rooms after that. So we can start baking and making concrete. But so far, we have meals being stored in here. These meals are going to last. They're not outside, but they're under a roof four days. So again, it's not very long. We got to make sure that we don't make that's even that's too many meals. In the meantime, we've gathered a decent amount of wood and laid it out so we can get these fences built. That's going to help us control uh, access to our base, at which point we can also start. I mean, we've got to start thinking about this now. Let's get some scrap. Let's start. Uh, let's do that. 12. We need 12 scrap metal for that. That's going to really honestly help us. Uh, so we may need to open a, scav a salvage. Oh, no, not yet. We need to do scavenging first. So not salvage, only scavenging option. So let's let's do a scavenge. Oh, no. I seem to have contracted some local bacteria or parasite that's making it increasingly sick. I've decided to name this disease Swarm Fever. Doesn't she already have the sleep one, too? She has a sleep parasite. Oh, no, wait. Is that her? Who, who is it that has it? Swarm Fever. She does Oh, she has the sleep parasite, too. Okay, this is bad. Can spread between survivors required at least two treatment courses. Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. You know what? Don't even worry about the traps right now. Forget this. Whatever this is, forget that. We're not going to observe that. Turn this off. Anybody who's anybody. Hope, where the heck are you? Oh, she's finally bringing the crystals back. Love that for us. So Hope has 25 foods now. She's going to go consume again, which means she got... Oh, boy. Yeah, we need fuel ASAP, but we need antibiotics almost, one could argue, sooner. So she consumes that sitting down, which probably makes her feel good, too. It brings back her energy. Yeah, dude, she moves, she moves through resources quickly. Because that's only 66% of her energy, which she managed to get done in a few days of walking. So, yeah, we are we don't have a lot. We have, like, basically that means we have, like, another week with her in her current situation. All right, you need to observe that immediately and even not even think about doing anything else because Lara will be dead soon. Another ship drops off some more uninvited guests. And this time they have lightsabers. What is this? Oh my goodness, they actually are. Those are lightsabers. They have hilts, I think, which is a much better design uh, than the original lightsaber. But this does not look enjoyable. It's the middle of the night. It is 0 hundred hours, so that means by 8 a.m. usually they attack. However, we have made some strides. Some time has passed. We've got the fence built out now. I hope this is secure enough because then what we can do is we can hang out here and wait for them to come to us. And then that'll put them through these uh, traps. So we'll get a few of them at least a little damaged. The fence seems to be up everywhere. So unless they decide to just straight bash through the fence, then I'm screwed. One thing I could have done and maybe should have done is line this up a little better. So that looks nicer because right now it's like a little bit of a wonky situation. I really hope they can't get through that. Like in real life, yeah, you're getting through that. We're screwed. But in video game life, hopefully they can't get through that. In other news... Okay, yeah, you just keep transporting. I did... I heard another noise. 
Oh, oh, that was it just taking off, maybe. I thought maybe there was going to be another ship already. Uh, anyway, uh, we've researched. We've finished researching concrete. We now have the concrete rooms. We've finished researching the fuel mixing. We got some fuel made for Hope. Hope is going to transport it. Can you do the medicine, please? Yeah, store the medicine. Uh, we have uh, we've researched antibiotics, so we're going to get some antibiotics going on and the fermentation barrel that we've made here. So we just need to research it now. However, uh, Ember, I've, uh, where is it? Ember, sleep parasite, Lara, swarm fever, immunity. She ended up getting over it. So you actually, I didn't need to worry about it too much. Again, it's not like RimWorld. You can just kind of get over it uh, in that uh, she was tended to. And then she kind of, her, her vibe, her vibe <laughs> was that it was suppressed. So they suppress the, the fever. She can get over it for a bit. Then it comes back. They suppress it again, and then after that, she kind of heals. So without antibiotics, I think antibiotics is probably just like a do it once and then she's done. Uh, it'll speed it up, but I still think rushing to antibiotics was probably a good idea. The only issue is now we have three on four of these bad boys, so we could be faced with a pretty uh, nasty situation here. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, in the meantime, like maybe since I've got a couple hours left and they're all asleep, I think I want to design a little bit of the lay the future layout here before we lose everybody into a big war. I mean, really, I shouldn't be doing this. I should actually be waiting uh, because uh, they're going to need all the logistics they can to heal up after this. But I, I'm just I'm I just really wanted to lay it out. I think it's going to be quite big, to be honest with you. So what I want to do here is uh, create basically just my outline. Right? This is just going to be the outline of the structure. We're already short by three concretes, but I'm just going to create the outline. And it's going to be a fairly large structure, I think. Um, because it's going to... I think we'll just go with the usual, like, holding on to it, holding everything inside the building. You know, it's the jungle. There's going to be... There's going to be issues with it. There's going to be diseases. There's going to be, uh, you know, weird, you know, rainy seasons, etc. So we might as well... Okay, what am I trying to do here? Why is it not... <laughs> Oh, flooring, that's why. Floor. Not flooring, but floor. Uh, one issue that I'm seeing right away, though, is that I won't actually be able to build at that height. So how can I build? Can I build interior? Like, you can't build interior steps, I don't think. I can't wall this off and roof it off, I don't think. So I might have to actually change the structure. Because, like, the tallest... If I want to build back here, it needs to be, like, that tall. And I need 400... I need 500 con concretes. Hang on. What if I just build... Okay. How big do I want this sucker to be? You know what I mean? How do I... Uh, I wish there was a copy button. Okay. Building, housing, flooring, concrete. I want to stay at this height. What does that entail? That's my... That's question number one. S I simply can't, I don't think. So my question is, could I make this an interior structure with stairs on the inside? Like, should we try? Is that even possible? Here's what I mean by that. Let me show you. Let me show you, folks. <laughs> let's say we're go okay. Let's say we go okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do something like this. Let's cancel these orders. Then let's say we go here. I don't think this is gonna work, though. Unfortunately, I really don't. Let's say I want to go this far back, right? Can I put? So it shows that I can put stairs here. It may end up becoming seen as two different floors though. Like then we go concrete walls, right? What'll happen if we have stairs? What happens if this is an interior structure? Uh, I, I think it's, I think it's doable. I don't know. I, I'm going to try this. Um, and feel free in the comments to be like, oh, that, no, it's not going to work for these following reasons. <laughs> oh, and I need to go up even more. This has to be even taller. This is a nightmare. Uh, I mean, it's not a nightmare. We're just playing a video game after all, but it is very annoying. So let's go concrete. Let's bring this forward. Okay, how far can I go before I lose? Man, yeah, this is... Uh, it's not uh, leaving much for me to build with here. Floor, concrete, stay at that height. Oh, there we go. So we can kind of go out a bit more here. So let's cancel this row, maybe. Oops, uh, C, there we are, there we go. 
concrete out to here. And again, my plan is to build the outline and then I'm going to fill it in with uh, stone or something cheaper to build uh, because I don't want the whole structure to be uh, concrete foundation. I just don't think it's necessary uh, in, in, in for this game. So let's go something like this. Is this a large enough structure? It's pretty big. And we can actually do a little piece out the back too, just for fun. And I, I might do that. We might do it later or something. I'm not sure, but let's just at least see what that would look like. Do you even have to cut that tree? No. So there's like another room there. Uh, we could also divide it up and make smaller rooms. Like imagine this being for little bedrooms. So what we would need here is one, two, three, four. So we would need another one of these five, six. Here. Yeah. Good. Okay. So that's if we wanted to make this rooms. But again, these are very long. We don't need rooms. I mean, they're pretty narrow. If we made those rooms, those are pretty narrow. So maybe we want them to be that long. I don't know. Or you do the opposite. You kind of go one, two, three by three by two is a good room size. One, two, three, one, two, three. So let's do something like, let's bring this concrete out here. Ah, that's the problem. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just have a weird structure. Let's just have a weirdly shaped structure. Now, is this going to be a problem? Here's where here's where this get here's where this bites me in the butt. Okay, where this bites me in the butt is later on when I try to uh, design the interior. It's it, you know I'm leaving myself some some issues here. One of the issues is this situation: the flooring in here, floor, uh, concrete. So having it at this height for this part of the building is going to be a real problem. But it looks like I can do this. It looks like I can make a stepped interior. Um, and, and again, I'm going to need you to save me. In the comments, I need you to save my butt if I'm wrong about this. But here's what I'm thinking, right? It's like you have stairs up here or uh, along here, right? Then there's could be other rooms here. Uh, and then we have a stepped down roof, which I think might look interesting. So that's kind of the shape of our building. And you know what I want to do now that I'm thinking about it? First of all, I'm aware that I've peaked the mic a few times, and I just, I just don't, I, I just don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I just peaked the mic. I just, I get excited, especially in this game. So I apologize for the audio. I'm gonna make some interesting oblong shapes here, and the reason for that is because uh, it's my game, and I can do what I want. <laughs> Let's go out a little bit. Oh, for heaven's sake! And then you got to go back through all the menus if you misclick. Okay. Now, when I complain like that, there is a part of me that's like, I don't think that's a valid complaint. Because it's like, yeah, of course you have to, like, what do you want them to do? Have the menus understand when you've made a mistake? Okay, there we go. So, this could be the structure. I don't know why this is lower. Like, again, I, I'm not sure what to do with this structure, like, how it's going to look. But I think this, and then this core at the back is the third, it goes up a third level. But then there's this front, this piece out here, you know, to the front. And that's kind of where we're going to put our solar panels and stuff. Power. I don't have anything yet. I actually don't. I think the solar panels are like two by twos. So that means you can get two with a row down the middle. If we did like solar panels in this area here, or this area here. So I think, yeah, I think there's a lot of options uh, for interesting designage. How much more can I go? Okay, let's go floor, concrete. Lower this like that. Cancel this. And then bring that. That's another room, right? So if I'm if I'm not mistaken. There. If I'm not mistaken, then my plan is gonna be like some bedrooms kind of around the edge, maybe like a center hallway. That's probably one by maybe it has to be two so we can put some stairs in there. So that means I'm not leaving a lot of build room. Although this should probably be the hallway, to be honest. Like a hallway right here. So then that leaves these little like three by rooms for kitchens, etc. And then I might do another off building here. So I might carry this around, this concrete around here, and then make this sort of our kitchen level. This could be a dining area, maybe. With stairs up. That could be nice. So now what I need to do is hollow this out so I'm not trying to come up with uh, more than 600 concrete. So let's do that right now. 
The reason I'm hollowing it out is because we can fill this with like even a dirt foundation or something. I don't think we're looking for too much uh, uh, thermal uh, strength here. Can I just like select? No, nope, that's kind of not going to work. But I know I can do this. Cancel orders. Oh, wait. Orders here. Cancel. Hmm. <laughs> I thought that was can deconstruct. No, it should be cancel. Hmm. I thought you could just, you know what I mean? Cancel orders. Oh, anyway. Okay, we'll just do it this way with the C button for cancel. Uh, we'll hollow this out. See, already I've saved myself a quite a lot of labor in terms of coming up with all that concrete. And I think literally a dirt fill, maybe stone or maybe wood. I, it's going to go through a lot of wood. So I just need to kind of figure out what is going to be the uh, cheapest option. But for right now, we don't really have to think about that because the main thing is just to get the forms up. Just like in regular construction. Maybe that's where I'm getting hints from. Regular construction. Am I an actual contractor? Could you imagine if I played this game once or twice and then was like... Tried to get a job redoing somebody's pool? Alright, so that saved me almost 300 concrete. And then if I fill this in with... What's soil going to cost me? Three hay. Scrap metal could be good. Wood is expensive. Planks. Stone could be but good, but I kind of want to keep it. Like, So what does soil do? Awful thermal insulation. Very weak support. So the the only issue with very weak support is we may get to the top floor and not and not be able to put uh what's it on there? Not be able to put like solar panels and stuff. We could go very strong, very strong, good thermal insulation, awful thermal insulation, medium. Ah, bummer. We might have to use wood at least. So then it's a question of like how much concrete do I have? which is like a fair amount around here. I don't mind chopping up all these stones uh, versus how many trees do I want to chop down? Because I, I, I'm, I'm just not, a, I'm not convinced that they grow back, which is sort of a bummer. And we don't want people to go further afield just to get wood. It's, it's logistically kind of a nightmare. All right, let's unpause the game here. This is what we're going to build. This is the plan. We're going to chop all this out. Very good. Uh, that we're at least going to get this laid out and then we'll figure out what to do later. Cause right now we still, we're still at a deficit of 200, uh, concrete to finish this structure, but like this being our main base, our single building structure, I think is going to be a lot of fun to play with, uh, developing kind of what the windows look like and, and how that's all going to work. Um, this wooden shack, we don't know what this is going to be. This could become a dining room. This could become the main entrance. I think I might take the stairs out and put the stairs here. Uh, or maybe we have one stairwell here just to get into this this floor here. But, you know, uh, honestly, like, this could be production or this could be a, a medical area or just somebody's, you know, one person's room. Uh, basically, what I want to do is, yeah, is convert this into, into something else. I think it could be actually a nice production area, right? Like, the second floor is just all, like, workshops. Now, it's annoying to get stuff up and down resource-wise. Uh, you know, if we just make a second floor, have all our production. But it's kind of a nice look, to be honest. Yeah, let's turn this uh, there. That's better. Like, it's kind of a nice space to have a bunch of production buildings. It could look cool. Uh, and then, honestly, that's way better uh, logistics than having to come all the way over here. My old storage, which was just a nightmare. We got to get rid of these ASAP. Because this is, like, this is very... This area is... It, it, but, again, it was, our, it's, it was our initial idea. Honestly, I'm thinking we have to do stone in the middle. There's a lot of stone around. The question becomes, is there 500 stone? Let's explore. Yeah, yeah. We'll get, okay, we got to do exploration soon. We don't have the guy. What was his name? Was it Hans or something? There was a guy that we would send out, uh, and he would always come back with, like, just massive amounts of scrap metal. That was awesome because then you can build a lot of alloy things. So theoretically, I think there's more stone around here to mine uh, than there is trees to chop and the main reason is just because I want to selectively chop trees so I think that's the situation now Ember, Lara and Talus are about to wake up the consortium attack starts they're heading straight for our traps and we are going to find out in the next episode 
how uh, well this goes. Ember, Lara, and Talus draft. Then come here. Why am I doing a cliffhanger? Because come, it's not that big of an attack. We're going to be fine. But also, uh, this episode has been six hours long and we need to get going. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it found it to be very... They're moving fast. Oh my goodness. I hope you found it to be very solid. And uh, we will see you in the next episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. And they hit the trap. <laughs>